Good morning, everybody. It is now a Monday, the... Oh, it's the 18th of January. Wow, this month is speeding fastly past. Feels like the weekend went too quickly as usual, but hey, it is what it is. Jennifer's down there. She, she was fine this morning. Um, she did wake up at four o'clock um, crying. She'd had a bad dream again. Um, she dreamt of a mouse in her bedroom. There's no mouse in her bedroom. And I know it was a dream because apparently the mouse had shoes on. Bless her. So she wanted to cuddle for a bit, so I gave her a cuddle and um yeah that was it she was fine went back to sleep but of course it's not good for me because now i'm shattered because i was up for an hour with her and i was oh anyway i'm just getting ready to start my shift everything's loaded up ready to go all i've got to do is press in and i'm ready um i'm doing something on my other laptop i've got that set up next to me as you can see it's just here let's use the cola cans behind it I'm just doing some stuff on that as well. I've got two laptops on the go, but that's only while I'm waiting to start work and I'll be putting that away fairly shortly. Well, I'm going to set up to uh, do the weekly vlog from last week. Anyway, I'll see you after work. Who knows what we're going to do? And I did say to Jennifer, she can come up and watch the BB man in my room if she wants, just because it gives Paul some peace and quiet to work while we're, um, when we're home, because she does get a bit raucous sometimes. But maybe we'll go out and play if it's nice. I don't know, we'll have to see what it's like, so. I'll see you when I finish my shift. Bye. Monday evening. Jennifer's in bed. She's had a nice bath. Paul's trying out his new posh headphones. On him. Pardon? His new posh headphones. Um. <laughs> <sighs> I'm a bit annoyed at Amazon. Again. The other day, well it was yesterday, I had something come. I showed it to you in last week's vlog. And they said they delivered it and handed it to resident. They put it under the neighbour's gate. So it was out by there in their side sort of passageway, which we've got no access to. Luckily, our nice neighbour, Matt, found it and, and gave it to us. Today, they tried to, they said they delivered something and put it in the letterbox. No, I haven't got it. My next door neighbour, Matt, hasn't got it. And the neighbours on the other side haven't got it. So we've got no idea where it's gone. So I am not happy. Now, it's not something I need immediately, but that's not the point. They're getting really lax. And I know it's because they're busy and I get that, but they've said they've put it in a letterbox. They haven't. They haven't even come to the right house because that size package does go through our letterbox. So I don't understand what they've done with that. Anyway, I've had two sales, so I am about to package them up so I can take them to the post office. I have sold a green top. And I have sold an Xbox game, which it looks like I've actually left at the shed. I have. I've got to go back and get it. Here is Lord of the Rings for Xbox. So, got to get these packaged up, watch a bit of YouTube, and then head off and make a colour and chat video. Annoyed and stressed is not the words. Anyway, see you in a bit. So I was going to film colour and chat tonight, but uh, Jennifer's had night terrors, so I'm shattered now, just from dealing with that. Poor baby. So uh, it's just drained me, so I'm going to actually just uh, watch a bit of YouTube and... Um, a bit of reading so i'm watching um some documentaries on nitrate film preservation and, and vault fires i was watching uh, one about the 1937 fox film vault fire in new jersey where they lost all the films prior to 1935 or the majority of them uh, very sad and in, in a lot of it they mentioned a film fire at uh, consolidated film industries in California in October of 1929 now. Uh, Marilyn's mother, Gladys Baker, worked at Consolidated Film Industries at the time and there are reports of her leading all her co-workers very calmly to safety during that fire. So it was really interesting to hear about that, knowing that story from one of the Marilyn biographies. So I shall put off filming a colour in chat until tomorrow when hopefully I'm feeling a bit better. <sighs> we know we're going to do one in the Selena Fennec book and I'm going to pick it out now so it's ready for tomorrow but I feel just <coughs> absolutely drained I did get two books today from eBay from the through the post both of a Titanic related the first one is one that uh, Steve Donahue mentioned now this is only the paperback version which is fine the Titanic conspiracy cover up 
and Mysteries of the World Fa Most Famous Sea Disaster by Robin Gardner and Dan van der Vat. Um, on the back it says, and he actually read some of this out. Why were the ship's helmsman packed off to South Africa? And why did the ship's log go down with the ship? Why did Captain Smith accelerate into the ice field? And so on, so on. What caused the hole near the bow? Why is the position of the wreck irrecon irreconcilable with the ship's final SOS calls? Was it replaced at the last minute by her sister ship, the already damaged Olympic? <laughs> yeah. And the other one is... Um, Nearer my god to the story of the wreck of the Titanic, the ocean's greatest disaster, the 1912 Memorial Edition. So, there you go, some photographs here. This is a reprint from the 19... Well, this says 1998, but this was first published in 1912. So... And this could be a very interesting photographs of uh, various people near my god to the, the the hymn that was allegedly being played when the ship went down some survivors from the titanic there is may hoisting lifeboat to the carpathia building the ship so yeah, this is the this looks really interesting. Um the back it says heartrending personal stories of the survivors as well as the dramatic story of the building of the Titanic, the problem of early wireless telegraphy, the terror of icebergs and the vanity and arrogance of the owners and captain that led the greatest seafaring disaster of all time. Illustrated with original drawings and photographs, this book is a historic keynote. For all who follow so yeah that should be quite interesting so i like titanic i haven't got any books on titanic at the moment i did have one but a previous dog tried to eat it <laughs> so i'm gonna start collecting the odd one here and there it's uh, not gonna go overboard because i'm more into jack the ripper than titanic but oh yeah me too anything historical like that i am so sorry for the yawns i am absolutely shattered so I'm going to finish watching this one documentary about film preservation and uh, see what else I can find with regards to nitrate film. I, every, every now and again I pick a subject and I just go all in and um, watch a lot of stuff about it. It's, and I find it fascinating to do that. So not going to colour sight, too blinking tired I tell you. I'm only going to be watching about 5-10 minutes. And I will see you tomorrow when it's Tuesday. Hello? Hi! Oh mummy! Hi baby. Hi mummy. <laughs> so it's Tuesday afternoon and I've finished work and Jennifer's finished nursery and we're sitting up in the room watching BB Man so that uh, Paul's got a bit of peace and quiet um, in which to work. One of the doors has come for the downstairs uh, project which is great. Um, I finally found my copy of the book that I ordered. So last night when they said they delivered, we went out and looked, couldn't see it. We looked in the recycling bin, because sometimes we put it in there. We put, looked behind the recycling bin, it wasn't there. So this morning, this afternoon when I go to get Jennifer from nursery, I, um, I notice it's behind the bin. It wasn't there last night. So whoever's door they put it through has popped it behind the bin. And it's sitting there getting wet. Luckily, and I can tell it wasn't there long, because it's been raining all night and all day. Um, the book inside was pretty dry. Um, well, it was dry. Uh, it's been. A, it looks a bit damp, but it is dry. <coughs> it wasn't uh, particularly wet either. But the cardboard casing was soaking, so I know it hadn't been there that long because it hadn't soaked through to the book. So this is the book. It's a Chibi Girls Two Grayscale by Ava Brown. Now I haven't seen Chibi Girls One in Grayscale, so I've got two. But I will get at one anyway. And also today it's arrived Mermaid Special um, by Anastasia Ellie Calderiva. I'm so excited for both of those. Um, I will be filming. Hello, oh she's nicked me book. Uh, flip throughs of both of those this evening, and they will both be up on uh, the channel before you even see this. So I hope you enjoy that. What's that? My book. The pens. Book of my pens, yes, my colouring stuff. That one. I can't put it on that one. I don't can't do it on this. You can only do it on a laptop and or on a phone. Anyway, so we're gonna have some fun now and watch eggs and um, apparently dinosaur eggs that is. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's Tuesday night, everybody's in bed asleep. I've just finished filming 
three flip throughs and a colouring chat because I've got my colouring heaven magazine today so I've uh, filmed one of that and I've put it up I've just got to make it live so I've got two more to uh, edit together and my colouring chat which will be going up tomorrow when I'm at work because I'll set it going before I uh, start work and hopefully it'll be ready to go up not as long as I would like to but I've got a bit of a headache today the humidity is up the weather's changed it is hammering down out there it is really horrible so I am now going to get this, start editing this lot together and I'm going to curl up and read my book for half an hour before I go to sleep. Just one note, I'll mention this again later on in the video I'm sure, is that Michelle Morgan's uh, next Marilyn book is now available for pre-order on Amazon. So if you're interested, this book um, is uh, focusing on the time she spent working on the film The Prince of the Showgirl in England with Laurence Olivier so so it's from the time she arrives in, in London till I assume till she leaves I don't know the ins and out of it because obviously I've not read it it's not even written yet not she's working on it she was working on it today and um I'm very excited about this book because this is a book she's wanted to do for years but it is available for pre-order on Amazon if you go on to Amazon and just type in when Marilyn met the Queen you will find it and please please go and pre-order a copy let's get it to the top of the entertainment charts uh, entertainment ch book charts let's just let's just do it go order this book it's going to be absolutely immense it's going to be amazing like i said this book has been 30 years in the planning it's going to be oh, it's going to be fantastic and i am for one cannot wait to read this this is like the highlight of of the next few years for me i'm so excited about it it's unreal so yeah so if you're a marilyn fan um or you just want to know more about her time in england when she met the queen and norman wisdom and various other people and hanging out with olivier and vivian lee and terence ratkin um and oh Jack Cardiff, who did the cinematography, Bumble Dawson, who did the costumes, Prince Shogun, absolutely gorgeous. Please go and order a copy and watch the film. And although it's not a brilliant film, watch watch the film with Michelle Williams, My Week with Marilyn. Watch it because when they were making that film, they made that film at Pinewood, which is where Prince and Shogun was found, and they actually found some of the set and some of the furniture from the Prince and the Showgirl and used that in My Week with Marilyn. So go watch those two films and pre-order When Marilyn Met the Queen by Michelle Morgan. It's going to be the best book out next year. 2022 is going to be very, very hard to beat that book and that comes out on the 13th of January. There's a whole year after that. How anybody's going to do it? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see anyway that's enough of me blurbing on about a book i'm very excited to read and i'm going to go and read a bit of my um stephen king now so i will see you in the morning good night good morning everybody how are you it is wednesday yes peak of the week happy hump day as they say i'm tired jennifer woke up at two o'clock crying and four o'clock crying so for that means means I'm awake till around three-ish because I've got to get her back to sleep when she's calmed down and then I'm lying here thinking she's going to start again and then again at four exactly the same so I probably didn't get back to sleep till three and five and then of course I'm up at 20 to six so not a lot of sleep's been had did my cone chat I'm currently uploading that so I'm really pleased I'm at work I'm re I am uh, logged on and about to start just waiting for the first call so yeah i'm gonna get on with that and then it's absolutely horrendous again today it's raining absolutely hammering down it's been and i'm just going to try and get through this day have a shower because i feel like i really want one um when i get home from picking excuse me from picking jennifer up i've got a lot of washing to do again so that's my afternoon is going to be washing and drying clothes sorting them putting them away with nobody else to do it that's fair enough and uh, entertaining Jennifer which is always fun but uh, yeah I'm all right I'm a bit tired but I feel all right so um yeah I'll see you when I finish hi guys it's Wednesday night Paul's downstairs watching the football it's Man U Fulham and Jennifer's asleep bless her she's put her Christmas beanie hat on in bed her head must have been cold she looks so cute she's sound asleep I'll keep an eye on her though and I'm just sorting out my bedside table because there's been so much junk on it for so long and I want to be able to put the books I'm currently reading, or will be reading, on there. Um, as you can see, I've got things like Wink Costellas and gel pens. Camera batteries, these are the ones that need charging. My inhaler, obviously. 
pencil sharpness there's a couple of those and some bits of paper and of course my water so i've cleared off space now so i can put the books i am a currently reading and b going to be reading so the first one is going to be going on there's return of the native which i have not yet read it was a few quid on ebay it's a folio edition i want to get a load of thomas hardy and i want to get it all in folio edition in order to do that i've had to move my stereo for the time being it will come down if i if i want to listen to it i can put it on the floor it can stay where it is i can put it on another shelf once i've sorted them out i've got a lot of shelves that need sorting out it's just me i just don't get much chance to do it so i do a little bit at night now tonight normally i was i was going to do ebay but i am so tired i am just going to chill out in bed and read so I'm just having a quick little scoot around tidying up, putting things away. Like I said, getting the books I want to read on, on, the, on the bedside table so I can get to them. Um, which is what I used to do um, in the other room. Now, I sleep in this room a lot at the moment because Paul snores very, very much. And I sleep on the opposite side of the bed to where the door is, which means I've got to get round him quietly so I don't wake him up. He's very easy to wake up if Jennifer needs me. So it's easier a lot of the time if I just sleep in the spare room. And I've got a headache and, you know... It's like last night, I was up twice with her, and luckily he didn't wake up at all. But had I been in that room with him, he would have. Normally I just stay in here when I'm colouring and making videos, but tonight I just want a good night's sleep, so I'm going to read for a little bit. And then, hey, so I'm going to put some books on here. Oh, there's a top that can go in the bin. Pen top, that is. Um, I'm going to put the books on here. I'm going to try and hit a bit of Stephen King's Dreamcatcher. I am on page 375. It's getting very doggy, <laughs> as you can see, and that's unusual for me. It's because if I'm holding it, Jennifer's got me, it tends to get moved around. I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put the two Titanic books on here. And People of the Best are the Agatha Christie book, which is on the floor. I've got some poetry books over there. I like to read poetry at night in bed. Just one poem from the book. Um, I haven't done it for a while, so I might do that before I uh, do hit dream catcher so i'm gonna do that and then it's thursday tomorrow david's coming to do the plastering so in the morning if i remember i'll very very quickly show you jennifer's room and i'll show you again tomorrow's night it's gonna be interesting to see if she can sleep in there because we haven't got anywhere else to put her if we put her in paul's bed and i sleep in in the double bed where paul is tonight and I sleep in there. Like, we call it Paul and Andrea's bed. We, we do like to sleep separately. Paul's, like I said, he sleeps like the dead, but when you wake him, he wakes up very easy. And he tends to thrash. And he's clocked me a wallop a few times. <laughs> he's done it on holiday twice in one night on holiday. <laughs> but he, he doesn't mean to. That's why I won't let Jennifer wake him up in case he clock clobbers her one by accident. It's just, he is in such a deep sleep that when you do wake him, he's like, whoa. Um... But I, you know, I could sleep in there with her, but I just know if I put her in Paul's bed to go to sleep, she's just going to jump around on it because she bounces on his bed on the double. So, but we'll, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Hopefully it'll only be a couple of days of inconvenience and then it'll be back to normal. That'd be good. Anyway, I'm off to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Yay. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. We are getting so close to the end of the week and I am so glad. I wonder if our email centre's it's been broken so we haven't been able to do any emails um they all come in and then we do so many a day and we've been keeping it under control it was really bad at one point we just get it under control and it breaks <laughs> so when it comes back up there's gonna be loads thousands and i'm not talking i'm not joking it's gonna be over a thousand easy maybe two the amount we get in um so it's gonna take some getting get it down again but we'll we'll do it we always do so today's plan there isn't one. It was raining horrendously. I know there's terrible flooding in parts of um, England and North Wales, which is terrible. My heart goes out to everybody affected by that. We're lucky where we are. The river, river where I am hasn't flooded since the 70s, I think, since they built up the, the river bank to stop it from flooding, and it seems to have worked. We do get some flooding if the drains overflow um, at certain places in Risca, but generally housing has been pretty safe lately. We're on a hill, so it tends to run past us which is very lucky it doesn't run in but uh so technically my mum and dad are on a flood plane and outside their front door they do get a puddle of water quite, and dad sweeps it away um and if i go down when it's like that i go in the side instead so it's not a major issue but um so my heart goes out to anybody affected by the flooding in england 
and Wales and Scotland and wherever it may be and I know there's snow up in Scotland there's snow in the north again it's it's been heavy here but it, and the river is up but it's not too bad but uh, we'll have to, just have to see how it goes it's not supposed to rain much say fingers crossed so we'll see no plans for today as other than um picking up Jennifer doing whatever Jennifer wants putting Jennifer to bed and then I'll do some eBay which I haven't done because I couldn't find a pink book and then I found I just put it on the uh, top of my touch five markers on the side they're there because I'm trying to use them up I'm finding they're not used, not very good for big spaces but for small little details it's it's not too bad so yeah anyway I'm gonna get myself set up and start work and I'll see you at the other side I can't wait for the weekend now I was going to show you Jennifer's room wasn't I I'll do that now because David's coming to fix it So this is her room at the moment, as you can see there's nothing on the walls, paper's coming off the ceiling now slightly, and uh, yeah, new sanding down, the radiator's got to come off. So David's coming to start this today, the idea is that she can get her proper bed in and get rid of that, so. And uh, yeah, I'll show you it again tomorrow morning, see how much he's done. Room, so I'll sh like I said, I'll show you it tomorrow after he's done a, a day's work on it. And then uh, I'll have to look to see about getting a day off to paint the room. Not a step left from my dad's. Anyway, I'll uh, see you after work. I'm going to get myself set up and get going. Later, we are back home. Been picked Jennifer up and we're going to play stickers. It's just like sticking them on things, don't you, babe? Yeah. You gonna say hello? You gonna say hello? No. You don't want to say hello today? I wanna play stickies. You wanna play stickies? Mm. Come on then, let's play stickies. Stickies, stickies. Yeah. Jennifer's playing play with stickers and we've stuck them all over her face. You gonna say hello? Yeah. Hi. Is that you, girl? Look at your face with all the stickers on it. <laughs> you look so cute. Huh? Yeah, and they've nearly finished plastering your bedroom as well. Hi, Mommy. Hi, baby. I love you. Do you like your stickers? You watching Peppa Pig? I love you, baby. So it's Friday and I haven't actually vlogged all day. Here's Jennifer. Hi. Here's Paul. Hello. And we're watching, well, we've got the chase on at the moment because Mark from MB Quizzes is on it tonight. Ooh. Bean Man. What was that? Oh, the Bean Man. Bean Man. Yeah. In a minute. You had it on all afternoon, haven't you? Okay, it's Friday night and uh, everybody's in bed. It's not that late. I'm thinking I should do some filming, but I don't want to. I might try and do something just to have a fiddle with something with the uh, watercolours because I want to try something out. So, the paints. So, I'm going to try that. And then, if it works tomorrow, I'll be able to do some filming. I did finish this though. I finished this huge tome of a book. So, next is to try and finish the Harlow book this month as well. Um, and there's some other books I've got on the go. This is the problem when you have a little kid, they get bat battered because they get thrown off the sides and dropped on the floor. Bless her. She's sound asleep. She's fine. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking I want to do some filming, but I'm not in the mood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do something. And then if that works, there's a few little experiments I've got to try for some um, pictures I want to do. So I'm going to do a bit of experimenting tonight. And then if those experiments work, then I'm good to go with what I wanted to do, which is great. So um, I'll let you know how I get on in a minute. Okay, so I'm currently watching something called Film Histories, which is uh, little episodes about specific films or specific um, scandals involving the film industry. Really interesting. Recommend it. Go watch it. I've been um, doing a little bit of experimentation. It doesn't take me long. The first one was to try and make a skin tone out of the Mozart um, 
watercolors you know there's nothing anywhere near there's bright red there's pink uh, bright pink there's whites there's brown so I took a the bright red a load of white and I think it was the yellow ochre and I put together and it's come out all right so I need to use my my brushes differently because they're leaking um, so I need to use them as paint brushes rather than um, water brushes but that's the skin colour I came up with it's a bit patchy and I will go over it <coughs> when I do the Mozart video because this is the picture for the Mozart video um, it's, it's lighter in, in this part and then that part because of the water coming out and I can just sort that out when I do the next bit of it so I can now do that which is what I wanted to do so looking forward to doing that I can't wait and the other thing was I've got some distressed ink and I don't I'm not, not sure how to use it properly. I know you're supposed to buy a proper applicator. But I don't want to spend the money. So this is the sort of look I'm looking for. And this looks like there's tea stains on it. Um, I can make it as dark or as light as I want. But that's perfect. It gives it the look I want. It, it does need to be a little bit darker. I might get a different colour. I might get a palette of greys and browns. Just to find the right colour I want. But I just use a cotton bud and soaked it in water. And it works fine. So happy with that too so i'm gonna just chill now and try and finish my doctor who picture while watching this and i'll see you tomorrow bye guys it's sunday afternoon and we're at the park paul's mum's been around it was very nice to, to see her because she's on her own so it's uh, she needs to get out and see people and we all come down the park into the shop i got a baby that's clinging to me every five seconds won't let daddy do anything for her i've got to do it all Oh bless her, she's running around, which is the main thing, getting lots and lots of exercise. Isn't that right, Paul? We wear her out so she'll sleep well tonight. Like she did well last night. Eight o'clock this morning, got up, it's fine. But yeah, what have we been doing? Not a lot. Sleeping, had a headache. They, they, they say it's gonna snow, snow tonight. I believe that. Well, from four in the morning. I believe it when it happens. I'd like to show you it if it does. But what's that, darling? <laughs> is it Mabel? Go and play then! Jennifer and Daddy are playing run running. Um, one of her friends from nursery was here, one of the girls that works there, and her mum was here. So she, they were both being shy with each other, but disappointed when they had to go. Um, but so she's running with her now, she's playing on the, the little blockies. She's not very good at this because she's too little, but she tries. There she goes. Well done! You can do it! Well done! This is the hard one, going back down. Yay! I can, I can! You got it, can! That's it, well done. Oh, nearly! Yes! Well done! Good girl! Well, I should do this all afternoon now. Saturday, Saturday evening and we're going to do a quiz day. It's the big fat quiz of the 80s. So that should be fun. So I'll let you know all about that as we go through it. We haven't quizzed for a long time, have we, Paul? No. So we're doing that. Jennifer's in bed, hopefully sleeping. It's strange. I've been printing some uh, colouring pages, so sorry, Paul. I'm going to colour this one in, which is a Deborah Boy one. Um, but yeah, so I'll keep you posted as the night goes on through the quiz. Into the first round, which was general knowledge, it was a lot of fun. We're going to find out where we are in a minute. Oh, we're at number 11! We're at 11th place. Fabo, good start. End of round two, which was a picture quiz on films and TV. Wasn't too bad. We enjoyed that one. Got a few. And we've gone down. <laughs> we've gone down to 20. We did very but, well, but we got that. Who cares? No, we did, though. We didn't get many wrong. Only a couple. It's just we were slow answering on some of them. To... It's so much fun. That's the end of round three, which is music. And that's up and down like a bugger for us, because we're terrible. And we've dropped right out. What are we at, Paul? 28. We've gone down to 28. That was really hard, though, because some of them were really hard songs. So I got the ones that I really knew, like, 
20 people got, got to be certain by Kylie Minogue. So we got that one, and I got Crazy For You by Madonna. But there were a few that I've never heard, and Paul never heard, and a few we knew, but we couldn't get the, the artist or whatever. So it's just the way it goes. But it's so much fun. And next week, there's really two really good quizzes. One on Friday and one on Saturday. More about that afterwards. So who wants to be a millionaire around? We have to climb the ladder. And it was good. We got a few right, we got a few wrong. Well, the last one was Jeopardy. As far as I know, Jeopardy never showed in the 80s. Well, it might have, but I never seen it. So I wouldn't know the theme. Anyway, so we're waiting for the scores in a minute. It was fun though, wasn't it? Because here we have done for ages. There we go, eight weeks for another 80s. Uh, tomorrow we've got Disney, so there's any guys Ooh, out there, Disney. Uh, mm, no. We actually finished at 28. Oh. So that went bad. We went down this way and it didn't move. No. Well, there's a lot in it though. Yeah, but well, it was fun anyway. So let's have a look at the quizzes. 2082. Well, three, wasn't it? 83 at one point. Um, let's go into the MB quizzes app just to see uh, the tickets thing, see what's available if it ever loads, so I can let you know. 28, happy with that. It was good fun. Um, let's have a look what we've got. Next weekend is. Thank you. Ooh, music. I don't know. On Saturday, there is a musical films quiz. I did say there was a Back to the Future one, but I think that might be on Wes's thing only, or they haven't put the tickets up yet. So, um, so potentially Back to the Future, and definitely a musicals film quiz. So hopefully we'll be doing that. There is an Oasis one Paul probably wants to do, but no, we're doing the musicals. It's as simple as that. I'm off to bed now. I will see you tomorrow. Sunday morning, it snowed. Are we going to go and look at the snow, Jen? Okay, so we're going to go out the back and look at the snow, because um, Jennifer's not really seen it properly. Except for on TV. Mummy? Yes, Mummy. Mummy's a coat. I'm going to put my coat on, yes. It's very cold out. Jennifer's exploring the snow. Oh. Yeah, that's how you're going to make a snowball. No. Oh. You're going up a bit further? It's the first time you've been in snow, isn't it, Jen? Yeah. Oh. oh. Nice day now. But, uh, yeah, Mummy's going to get wet as well. Mummy's coming. Mummy's coming. Uh, you don't know how to make a snowball, do you, Jen? Do you want Mummy to show you? Yeah. All right. What do you think of snow, Jen? Help me on my, on my head. You want it on your head? Yeah. You want me to make a snowball and drop it on your head? Do you want it to snow? <laughs> Snowing on Jen. Daddy, come me. Come. Please. You can go on the grass if you want, Jen. It's all snow. So what do you think of snow? What do you think of the snow, Jen? Is it cold? It's cold, isn't it? So we're back in the warm now. Jennifer got upset because her hands were really, really cold. Been in for a while now and she's warmed up nicely and she's colouring a picture of Mummy Pig from Peppa. Aren't you, darling? You gonna say hello? No, she's also watching um, T Rex Ranch or BB Man as she calls him. Um, we'll see what happens with the snow. It's starting to melt already, so that's good. I'm supposed to go shopping today. I'm driving in this. It's Mummy Pig, isn't it? Let's have a look. It is a bit high, but you said the tray was too heavy. That's it. Sit on your knees. That's it. Good girl. So we got these lap trays, we've got two of them. There's one upstairs um, that I use and this one's for Paul because um, we're having some building work done next week. We're having this, some doors put in there and a door on the, store to, the stairway um, to try and keep it warmer and also to make it more private. And that means I can work in this section and Paul can work in that section. Um, and it'd be a lot better really. Um, but. Uh, so while that's happening, he's got to work upstairs. So he's got that so he can work upstairs. They're really good, actually. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to have some more food and uh, see what's happening. So we've got to sort the room out and make some space for the builder tomorrow. So it still hasn't melted enough to go shopping. I'm not driving the car in this because we live on a steep hill. 
and I have to take it to the top of the steep hill, turn it around to bring it back down. I'm just not going to risk it. I'll see how it is tomorrow. If it's really bad, I'll have to walk her down to nursery. Um, i clean the car off then when I finish uh, and go shopping tomorrow. But Paul's just nipped down to the spa just to get a loaf of bread and some milk and stuff like that. Just so we got enough. We've got plenty of food. We're not going to starve. Not for one night. Um, fair play to anybody who's had to go to work and all the doctors and nurses and assistants and healthcare people, shop workers, fair play to you. I'm lucky I can turn around and say no I'm not doing it today, I can work from home tomorrow, hopefully it'll be gone by then. I mean I love the snow, Jennifer enjoyed it, she's gone with him so she's out having a walk in the snow, she'll probably be soaking wet when she gets back. I did make her put her wellies on though so that's something. Um, so hopefully she'll enjoy that. They're literally just getting breads, milk and, and just stuff like that to keep us going. Um, yeah, so I'm just chilling watching a couple of YouTube videos. I've cleared some space for the building work and there's a bit more to do in a minute. Paul said just find somewhere to put the records. I've done that. And then I'll help him when he gets back because there's some bigger stuff we need to move as well. This battery is about to die so I'm going to go and charge it up and put another one in. But that's it for now. I'm this Might do some colouring and have uh, the left of rest of last night's pizza. Okay, guys, it's Sunday night. Um, everyone's asleep in bed. I'm in bed. I got a stinking sinus headache again. I don't think it's the humidity this time. Maybe I don't know. I'm hoping the snow's going to melt. It is melting actually. It's just that um, I don't really want to drive in it if it's just icy tomorrow morning. So I might have to walk Jennifer down tomorrow. I see how my head is though, oh, it's actually really, really bad. I um, have finished another book, bloody Grant Finnegan, stop writing so many good books. I read the first book of his that I found called The Luxury Orphanage at the beginning of the year, which is actually fantastic. And then he popped up um, promoting another, a box set of his. And so I went and got it from Kindle Unlimited. Because I've got that now because my mum reads a lot and I've got it mostly for her um, but because we've we're taking it in turns to pay for it she pays for it one month and I pay for it the next month I thought I'm gonna download stuff I want especially as I'm not supposed to see it but don't see her that much because of the lockdown I go and help my dad every couple of days to make sure that he's all right and he gets a break from doing everything but generally I, I don't go down and I put books on her kindle for her um but yeah an amateur's advertisement an advert popped up yesterday for a box set that contained um a book called Fl flight 19 and flight 19 part 2 which tells the story of flight 19 which disappears in 2019 and then reappears in 2024 so it's really fascinating so i thought oh that sounds interesting so i've downloaded it and it was books one and two and then there was another book in there uh, which is a different story totally I think I haven't read that one yet but I've read the other two in two days my total for the year stands at 14 I put my challenge on Goodreads 75 so <laughs> I'm doing really well this at the moment it's, I am not colouring as much I'm still colouring a lot but I am reading more I think I've completed 10 pages I think 10 or 11 this month and I'm fine with that I've got a few that I want to try and finish this week if I can finish all of them it will take it up to um, 12 30 maybe 15 which is still good I average about 18 normally there may be more I don't know it may work out as more I don't know you have to see how it goes um, but uh, yeah and I was going to film something tonight but my head's too bad so I'm just going to go to sleep and Try and get a good night's sleep and hope it's better in the morning because, oh, I can't face working if my head's like this. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. That's the end of it. We'll start again tomorrow, honest. Yeah, we'll start again tomorrow. God, blimey, don't aren't these weeks spiralling past? Do you know what? It's Jennifer's birthday next Sunday. I haven't got her anything yet. I think I'm going to have to do an Amazon purchase tomorrow. And, uh, get her some stuff it's getting but not even what to get her. we've just had christmas she's just had loads of stuff so it's like what do i get for her birthday mm. anyway 
I'll see you tomorrow when we start again. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Uh, leave me a comment down below. I mean, it was nice to see Jennifer in snow and I didn't get much footage of her. Like I said, she did go out for a walk with her dad as well and she got really cold because she kept picking up the snow. Um, and she came back complaining how cold she was. But she's fine now, lovely and snugly in her bed, which is the main thing. I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye. P.S. It's snowing again. It's not supposed to be snowing now. All the weather forecasts say uh, no snow. Um, but it's snowing and it's uh, quite big heavy chunks as well uh, flakes they're not little ones it's quite a bit yeah it's snowing again